Welcome back to The Sun at Night! Hopefully I've had plenty of water to drink before this, or enough water, so that I can read everything that I have to read in this episode. So we're just gonna get right into it and start with that whole stack of books that I had to read. No, this is not the tent, it was Joseph's tent. Here we go, let's do it, let's read all of these books, hopefully. There's quite a lot to choose from, alright, so... Maybe I should read them in, like, the chronological order? Let's do that, why not? Uh, actually, I don't think these are related in any way. I'm just gonna take them from the top down. The Great Train by Ayn Man Manahata? Manahata? I don't even know. 1936. Satirical doodles of the novels Stern Lanterns Lantern Jaw blah, Lantern Jawed here it's starting off really well. Right away. Great. Uh, heroes adorn the plain cover. There's quite oh. Oh, you don't read them, you just check them out. Okay, that's that's a whole lot more manageable. Second Birth by Bori Pas Pastermak. Pastermak? I don't even know. A note sticks out between the pages, which reads reads Dearest Joseph, my hope is that these poems bring you peace. Okay, cool. The Joy of Cooking by Irma Rombauer, 1931. Close to 100 tabs stick up from the book marking recipes. There's quite a lot to choose from. Alright, well this is going faster than I thought. Writings on the U.S. Civil War by Cart Karl Marx. Oh, I, I see. Or Marx, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. 1861. This book suffers from, from a well-worn spine of many, many dog-eared pages. There's quite a lot to choose from. Das Kapital by Karl Marx, nine, or 1867. A note is taped to the cover, which reads, Ist ein grausamer Witz? Or something like that? I'm not e exactly sure what that means in German. It's, uh, something about... No, I don't know, sorry, don't know German. Oh, nope, don't do that. I'll have to look it up. The Poverty of Philosophy by Karl Marx, 1847. A notebook lay open, lays open beside it, its pages full of burst, full to bursting with transcribed pa passages and musings. There we go, so that wasn't too bad, alright, thank you Joseph, he had more to say than the books did. So let's keep going and go to IC entrance maybe? Sure, let's go here. And Intelligence Center, this this va, this one Nathan's row. Let's go into the Intelligence Center. That was a long loading time. I got a health pack. Sweet. Speak with Lieutenant Dimitri. Hey, Laika. I hate to ask, but can you spare a minute? Of course. We've got a problem here in the Intelligence Center. Some of the wiring downstairs has come loose and the live current is preventing us from fixing things down there. I was thinking, since you've got that energy shielding built into your suit, maybe you could go down there and reach the shutoff faster than we could. I'm on it! Atta girl, be careful though, come back up if it seems too dangerous, it's not worth you getting hurt. Thank you, Dimitri. Like you're back, we haven't managed to fix the wires yet, any time to help? Sure, I'm ready now. Alright, drop down, so... If I do that, remember, deploying your shield with right-click is an essential skill for bypassing hazards in the environment. Yeah, I see. So if I just run in, I take a little bit of damage, and I get stunned. If I shield, it... Wow, that that really drains my shield. So here I want to try this. I'm going to actually just let my shield recharge a little bit. And, oh, when you pause the game, your shield stops recharging. Of course it does, that would be too cheap. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get the defense upgrade nano convert. So when I take shield damage, it converts into raw nano. Yeah. So let's get that. I am sure I want it. There we go. I now have nine raw nano. If I shield, run into this like that. Oh, I have 15.5. That's quite a lot actually. That's pretty fast. So I guess give me a minute, I'm, I'm gonna try this until I get maybe like a hundred, or maybe until I can at least, you know, 
farm up or uh what is it called? Uh I can't even jump into the things, the uh wires, or well, yeah, the wires. Uh I'm gonna do this until I can maybe fabricate a battery. We'll see how, how long that takes, or if I even can at all. So give me a moment. Wait, what the hell? Why do I have zero nano batteries? Was that did that thing really cost like three nano batteries? Oh it did. I didn't even realize. Okay, well, that's that's a thing. Oh. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. I thought you could heal at the save points. But apparently you can't. So is there no way to just heal yourself without using health packs? Because if not, then there's not really any... Like, you can't actually farm uh, batteries like that, I think. Hmm... Yeah, that might be a problem. I'm not even sure I can get in here now if I have enough health. I might have to just use a health pack. I'm, I should be fine. Oh! Oh, hey, Laika! Molly's out on assignment, and I have no idea how to fix the bug on her machine. Could you hack it for me? It controls the comm mini tower down there. I see. Some computer terminals, doors, and other electronically protected objects can be hacked. Start the process by interacting with the hackable object, then once the sequence has been initiated, halt the sweeping cursor over a row of static characters to complete the hack. Okay, wait. What? What, what does that mean? Halt the sweeping cursor. Okay, I think I understand. Failing to successfully hack an object may have consequences. An alarm may be sound, extra security measures may be enacted, etc. This computer, however, is not protected like that. Okay, so, where is it? Right there. Alright, so inspect the generator first. The gasoline generator chunks away, spawning, spewing noise and exhaust into the air. I don't want to shut it off right now. I'm gonna hack this first. The hackable console is locked. Attempts remaining 3. Hacking difficulty, level 1. Security level, 0. Okay, press tab to hack. Yeah, I see. So, complete hack like there. Yeah, alright, so when... you just have to press it in one of those strips of static letters, like they said. The, the letters that aren't moving or anything. So that's not too bad, I see. And if I run through here, save, but it doesn't return or, like, heal me in any way, so that's a bit of a problem. Hmm, yeah, I should probably find a way that I can heal up for free, if there is one, if I can, like, go to bed somewhere, or if I can eat some food, I don't even know, because I don't want to waste too many health packs if I can help it. And the desk is locked, damn. Okay, can't do anything here. I'm gonna not heal for now, and shut off the generator, I suppose. Yeah, there we go, now I can't do anything more with those things, I can't farm any more stuff. How much do I have? 82, and that's still not enough? No. Can I make, like, a health pack? I can. Shield pack? I can. Grenade? I can. But... I don't know if that's... if that's just because a nano battery takes a hundred, maybe? I would think. We'll see about that, I suppose. Great! Now we can fix the lines. Thank you so much, or thanks so much. You're welcome. Why... why was there, like, a ka -ching sound? Did I get a reward? I don't even know. Speak with Erika, or Erika. Hey oh, it's everybody's favorite pooch. Hi. The honor is all mine. Anything I can do for you? I don't think so. I'm just seeing how ev everybody's doing. Well, that's mighty considerate of you. You do you sure do seem at home here. I'm glad you're part of the team. Thanks. There is something homey about the desert here. Not homey, I mean just it's hard to explain. Ah, uh, well, that that tells me all I need to know. You're from from Mars. You're a Martian puppy. I'm a what? Sure, sure. Mars looks just looks a lot, lot like li la, lot like this. Got the deserts and the low mountains and all of that. People have been to Mars. 
Abram was telling me the Soviets have been expanding their space program with all their satellites, but... Well, no, but I've read about it. I'd love to go myself someday, take a gondola ride through the old canals, meet the locals. They're a race in decline, but they must still have some tricks up their sleeve to put you together. Maybe I'd even meet a princess. She'd have four arms, but I wouldn't mind that. I'd look funny to her, with only two, probably. But we'd manage somehow, and... Are you sure that's how Mars is? I thought... Well, the scientists will tell you some pretty boring stuff, but they're always changing their minds, aren't they? Look at Lysenko. They used to try and shout him down, but not so much anymore, eh? Well, good luck with all of that. I'll see you around. So, she's just dreaming about random stuff, I suppose? Dent and Hester's tents. That rhymes. I can't look at the thing here. I can't look at anything here. Okay. Nothing at all. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry about the annoying sound, but I'm low on health. Salmon. There's some candle wax on the chessboard. The match on the board is cu currently unresolved. Okay. Can't get anything else. Main tent cluster. Group tent beta. Hall and... Paul's tent and records room. This von Nathan's tent. Let's go to Paul's tent first. Inspect trunk. An old, thoroughly used wrench lays at the bottom of the trunk. Take wrench. An open, empty chest. Inspect cabinet. A crumpled, hastily creased sheet of paper reads, Don't forget, 602 DB BB.1 or something. Lots of stuff. Take note. Great, there's nothing of interest inside. Now let's go into this guy's house. This for Nathan, or whatever he's called. Wake up! Hmm? I'm not asleep. Could have fooled me, or you're not worried, are you? Or, well, time to get up. Exit conversation. Could have fooled me. Where on earth did you learn to be so sassy? Maybe it wasn't Earth. Maybe I, I was sent here from my home planet to sass you. You think? I'm not so sure you're... Ah, I'm not so sure you're from another planet. Well, okay, I was joking. What do you mean? I'm just saying, the Soviets are always coming up with something new. That chopper that dumped all the bots on you. None of us have ever have seen anything like that. The bots, maybe, but not the chopper. That thing was going about at about Mach 15 when it showed up on the radar. We... But then it de decelerated like... I don't even know what can decelerate like that. We think it actually dropped in, dropped in from orbit, sorry. I need a sip of water, just a sec. All I'm saying is, they keep getting better at making weapons. They have a lot of tricks up their sleeves. So they could have made me, is what you're saying. Maybe. The way you tore those spots apart, I think you, you can make that question academic sooner rather than later. At any rate, I should probably get going. Remember to check in with Mom. Okay, Mom? In the main tent, when you're ready to get started. Okay. Do you think we're going to win? I don't want to be a downer. I think we can. What? I think we can. I just think everyone has a different idea of what that should mean. It worries me. Well, that's what Abram's good for. He can talk to anybody and make them feel like he gets them. You know his eye patch is fake. Both his eyes are fine. Mom told him to get one. He uses it to project grittiness and, like, martial trustworthiness or whatever. I never would have guessed. Honestly though, Laika, the trust is that we don't have a post-Soviet plan. We got a transitional government action plan with a perpetually deferred drafting stage and that's it. The real plan is just to create breathing space. Breathing space? Right, kinda like what Mom was doing back in India. The Soviets used to be overextending there. It was easier to create a sort of covert power structure and take advantage of bureaucratic corruption than to sustain some kind of autonomy. All we're really hoping for is to hit their military hard enough that people around the world get up the... the gumption to start resisting more themselves. Well, by we, I mean Mom and Abram and everyone else who knows what's going on. I don't think that's anything to be sad about, though. I don't know. Who said I was sad? I'm not. Anyway, I should be going. Oh hey, before you go, do you think Abram is going to be okay? What? What did he do? What did he do, rather? Nothing specific, he just seems worried about me. 
Maybe it's not even really me he's worried about. I mean, he talked about being worried about me, but we're all worried about each other, aren't we? Yeah, I'm sure we are. He just has a lot on his mind. Don't worry. Okay. Stay safe, Laika. Bye, Vismalaba, Nathan, whatever. Spectable. Lists of equipment and personnel. Maps. What? Personal, maps, and other planning materials litter the taper, table. Sticking out from a random assortment of papers is an engineering schematic from what looks like a trash can with lights on it. Inspect locker. This one, this, this one Nathan's journal rests on a small shelf inside. Abram might not, might be a fool. I don't suspect our new dog friend is working for the Soviets. Not really, but Abram is just too trusting. We've given Laika access to things that only our top agents can access. We're including her in missions, mission briefings and planning, session, planning sessions for future operations. This group has to be more tightly run. If I'm honest with myself though, it's more that I don't trust some of the others with Laika. People are capable of a lot of terrible things when the stakes get this high. What does that mean? Do they want my juicy robot bits or do they just not like dogs? Who knows? So, what time is it? It's, yeah, it's not very, very late. I, I feel like my blood sugar is low or something. I don't know, I'm feeling like lightheaded, but maybe it's from all this reading. I don't even know. I'm gonna try to stick with it for a couple more minutes, but maybe I'll just end it a bit earlier today and get some food soon. Group 10 Beta, I did go in here. Wait, didn't I? No, I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. Did I? I don't even know. I don't think I did, but there's nothing in here. And yeah, there was nothing else here. So this is the main tent cluster. I'm pretty sure we can get there from another place as well. Yeah, here we go. Here's like the 3D map. So this takes me to the 3D or to the main tent cluster, which is this screen, I suppose. This blue screen. So blue screen, huh? So I guess we'll leave that for now and go back this way. And go back to the first screen, and then head right. Armory entrance. Armory tent. Inspect crate. A slim journal rests on top of the crate, open to its most recent entry. I've been calling that space dog Laika like everyone, everybody else. Baltasar tells me it means Barker in Russian. Oh wait, so her name isn't Laika? She just was called that by the other person? People? I don't even know. Uh, Abram named her, yeah, okay, though she seems very sweet-tempered, it, and it's not of the breed generally referred to as Laika, apparently. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. I can't read, sorry. Especially not now. Reminder to myself, I must improve my language skills. I must as well. Guy, let's keep at it together. Most people here speak English, but Baltasar speaks Greek, Russian, English, and um, Americ. Question or expl- uh, exclamation mark. Explanation mark? exclamation mark with seemingly equal fluency. I can no longer quite say how inadequate, th inadequate this makes me feel. I can remember feeling only an unmixed sense of loss at being part of a dispor- this- this- what? Diaspora. I don't know what that means. At having no other choice than to accommodate myself to the people whose lands I am a guest, guest in. But, as the days since America was shattered and incinerated recedes what? Recede into the past. I feel, guiltily, hesitantly, a dawning sense of freedom. I have nothing but the future to believe in, and nothing but our shared future to bind me to my new compatriots, or com compatriots, 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 I don't even know. Ignore it. Let's head into the armory, maybe I can heal up here, maybe I can go to like the med bay and get some healing, hopefully, maybe. Machine gun ammo, and shield pack, and that's it. Nothing else to check, just a bunch of stuff. Alright, great. And I couldn't go anywhere else here, could I? I can jump up on top of the armory. Oh no, I can't. Oh well. Supply tent alpha. Head kit. That's good. More tents that are just sort of nothing. Yeah, main tent cluster is right here. I'm gonna leave that. Group tent alpha. Inspect locker, nothing else. 
locker is mostly empty, save for a small... A gamma? A gamma lizard hanging out on the bottom shelf. Hey, buddy. Great. Alright. Half to overlook library tents, slash tents, spare tents. Shearing range. I really want some healing. I guess I'll just go with the overlook. Graham's tents. Tool tents. Speak with Alexei. Or Alexei, whatever. Overlook tower. Let's head to the overlook tower first. Oh, there's... There's birds! Kill the birds! Birds must die. There we go. Not too hard. And can I jump up this? Yes, I can. Oh, okay, more birds. Didn't even see them. Ow. Okay, I'm very low on health. I need to be a bit careful here. Oh, I clicked outside the window, and it froze. That's not good. Yeah, I need to be careful about doing that, because I'm playing in a window. Well, birds are gone. That's good. Did I get some raw nano from that? 82 still. Alright. Can I check the uh, thing? Rusted but, but sturdy. Stained but readable. Can't do anything. Alright. Crate. The crate is full of various dry storage foodstuffs and kitchen supplies. I will take them. It's an empty crate. And I can't jump up any higher. And apparently there's no fall damage. Good to know. Hello, Alexi. Thanks for taking care of those nasty birds for us, Laika. Oh, I guess I just completed a quest without even realizing it. Here's a little something for your troubles. Don't use them all in one place, or in, in once place? Yeah, he said like once place, I think. I don't even know. Nothing here? Wait, could I... Yeah, nothing here? Alright. So apparently that was a quest, just take care of the birds at the, the tower, I suppose. Great. Inspect bed. An unfinished letter rests atop the Corps' military blanket. My dearest Pelagea, 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 if you do ever receive this letter, you must forgive me for writing it mainly for my own benefit. I write and rewrite these words to soothe my nerves and remind me of you, though I do, do not know if they were, will ever reach, ever safely reach you. I cannot describe the depths of my love for you, or how brightly the fury in my heart still burns over your deception. Oh, okay. And the fact that you remain in Moscow. Or Mo Moscow? Yeah, I think so. You know, as you always have, there is nothing you can do that I will not believe to be the only course open to you. But please, Plagea, please, I beg you not to use this knowledge to cause me pain, to make me bear more than I possibly can. If only... What the hell is going on there? I don't even know. So, there we go, completed that. I think, as I said, I'm gonna end it here now, even though it's a bit early, but as I said, I really need to get some food. I feel really lightheaded. So, wait, can I jump up here? Hold on. Getting a bit sidetracked. No, I can't. And not there. Can I jump up here? I can! Alright. Anything up here? Oh! You won't be able to reach this far tower without the double jump ability found in the utility utility branch of the upgrades menu. Double jump costs three nan nano batteries to unlock. Look for more nano batteries around Abram's refu refugee camp before leaving on your first mission. So they're basically telling us get the double jump. You need it. All right. So that's that's good to know. I will see if I can get just that. I would really love some health packs or not health packs, but just a way to heal up, but it doesn't seem like you can. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, thank you very much for watching, more reading, and there's gonna be more reading next time, and yeah, I'm gonna go eat, so as I said, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time, bye bye!